and welcome back here to our blind first playthrough of Greedfall. And we have not figured out uh, where Constantine is. Is he alive? But we think he's with the High King. So they're telling us now that we have to follow the High King. Let's check our journal here real quick. The Dead Man's Voice. Find the trail of the High, uh, of high King Vinbar. But we also have a cure for the Malachor on the High King's trail. So I think, because this isn't showing us anywhere to go, we have to basically go through this. They're going to converge. I believe, or merge, as it were. Uh, but we have another thing going on here. We have first contact. Learn more about the Devesp is the Devesp's landing. If I'm saying that right, we'll hear them talk about it. We'll get the pronunciation correctly. Now, this is the DLC, and I don't know a good time to go do this other than right now. Let's just go do it. I feel like um, we need to go resupply, maybe change some stuff up before we go on our expedition to find Constantin. I know there's urgency. But I feel like Constantine is either alive or dead, depending on what this High King has done for me. Either saved him, is holding him, or not. Um, and so I'm going to say some of the urgency is gone and we need to prepare before we go. And we'll just assume while we're in New Serene that we have this letter, we find out and we pursue it. So I'm ready to do that. Let's find out what's up with this uh, DLC quest. And I'm not sure how long this is. Somebody did mention that it was shorter a little bit. Um, but I don't know what relatively is that mean hours or this is just going to be this one episode. I'm not sure. But let's see where are we at on our actual map here. There we go. Hold it down. Let's hit our camp and then head back to New Serene and we'll meet you at home. So here we are. And I believe that first contact is what they're calling this. Now, is this our first contact or is this a side story? about first contact when they came to the island because old families were brought here generations ago and i just don't know so who are we going to take with us um for once i think siora can stay here let's go to our companion speak to petrus didn't i tell I you that knowing the underside of politics and dealing with manipulation would serve you well i never thought we'd have to deal with the devesps oh. here they're a long way from peren be very careful, my child. I didn't actually mean to I'll talk to him. I'll see you later, him. Father. Take care, my child. Our eyes going bad, it looks like. Uh, compose our team. There we go, X. And we're going to keep Petrus with us. Because why wouldn't we? And then who else? Now, Afra might have a relationship to some of the people here. I don't know, though. But for once, I think we're going to go with Kurt. He's earned a place here with us for a moment. And... Let's do it. He's part of the coin guard. These two people um, have been to New Serene, are part of everything, so we'll see if that plays in. Our weight is fine right now. I might have a couple better weapons that I could possibly... I'm waiting for people to get skills to let them use, but we'll check that out later. And where are we going here? Oh, Lady Morange. Well, I suppose. Let's go see what she has to say. She's been one of my favorite characters in this game. Lady? Ah, Sir de Sade. Did you get my message? Indeed. The arrival of the Devesp family in Tierfredi is surprising and no doubt worrying, but without knowing their intentions. Nothing good can come from that family for the interests of the Dorsey family and Serene. But I truly cannot tell you anything about the reason for their presence. The message I received was brief. Aurelia de Vesp announced her arrival on the island and asked to see your cousin as soon as possible. She and her entourage seem to have settled in a region that I do not know. Oh. Adag Ol Credo, north of Vic Shadir. I think it would be good for you to locate her and try to find out more. You should also take advantage and visit these unknown lands. Who knows what they have in store for us. You're right. It's better for us to go and see what it's all about. So I wonder if this uh, kind of screws. Who knows of the timing? I know they say you can, I think, play this like post game and it arrives in the middle of the game. So I'm going to play it now. I don't know. Um, do we want to change the subject or ask her about how about the family itself? All this. What can you tell me about the Devesp family? I've never met them, and everything I know is hearsay. And, strange and worrying as it is, the rumors are justified for the most part. 
Nevertheless, I'm not an expert, and I've been away from the continent for a long time. I'm sure Sir de Corsillon will be able to tell you more, but know that they have envied the Dorsey family's power in the congregation for generations. They have tried to impose themselves many times at its head, holding up the antiquity of their city Peren as a pretext. They bribe messengers, use blackmail and trickery, even murder, according to some people. And don't back down for anything. Cool. Be very careful with them, Your Excellency, and don't believe a single one of their lies. They're real vipers. Do you have any other questions? Yeah, who are these people shitting on the Devesps? And uh, I think they're going to be my new best friends. I'm just going to guess it. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out, I'm guessing. What do you know about Aurelia Devesp? Is she an my important member of the family? As far as I know, she's the prince's favorite daughter, and the only one left. I seem to remember that she was married to a promising young nobleman for a few years. I heard he died in suspicious circumstances, but I couldn't tell you what happened or if it's even true. But if you want to find out more about her before you go to meet her, you should go to speak to Sir de Corsion. Do you have any other questions? Yeah, de Corsion is also pronounced de Corsillon. Uh, it's... Four different ways and everybody. Like, I just wish they could get it together. <laughs> it's so funny, though, but it's funny. Uh, what else do we have? The city of Perrin that you were saying that's so prestigious. Do you know the city of Perrin? Legend would have it Perrin. that it's the oldest city in the congregation. And its ruins bear witness to a glorious past. It's a beautiful city with a river running through it and whose art and architecture have long been a source of inspiration for the old world. Nevertheless... It doesn't have direct access to the sea, which stopped it from thriving and becoming as powerful as Serene. That's what finally pushed it into the background amidst the larger cities. Do you have any other questions? No, except that this whole family would have been involved um, with the old coming to this island, the old expeditions. Now, I'm, I'm doubting, I'm questioning myself with the whole Kurt thing here. Goodbye, Lady Morange. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Be careful. Don't underestimate the trickery of the Devesps. I don't know. I mean, I like you, uh, lady, but I don't know. Everybody seems like they're into the trickery. So, where are we going to? We're, we're going to De Corsillon. Let's go see him first. Although they want us to... Uh, they're showing us on the map we can leave. I'm going to switch up. I want Siora with me. I don't feel like it's right. Also, it might be the wrong time of day. Let's uh, go up here. All right, we got our crew. It is morning time. Let's go. But we're going to go see De Corsillon. I'm going to say I, Corsillon. I get it with the double L. Makes a Y sound, but I don't care. We're just going to roll with it. Now, was, he's upstairs, is he not? Up and past. Interesting that... Yeah, we can't find our boy. What is the green light doing there? Oh, his... His weird uh, poison sword. Man, this took a minute to figure out. I couldn't remember what door and how you get up and around. It's so convoluted, it makes no sense. Nobody will ever find you here. You're safe. Desade, you seem somewhat gloomy. What's troubling you? What's As troubling you may me? have heard, the Devesp family has sent a delegation to the island. It's led by the prince's daughter herself. Ah, most curious. And very worrying indeed. But you didn't come all this way in person just to bring me the bad news, I take it? You've read my mind. Knowledge is power. I need all the information you've got. All right. Let's ask him about the Devesp family. What can you Let's tell me it. about this family? Well, the House of Vesp has a very long history. They gained their first noble titles through violence a few centuries ago. Then, commerce and close ties with Teleme saw them rise to become the princes of Peren, their ancestral city. However, their lust for power is boundless. And it's no secret they wish to reign over the whole congregation. No luck on that front so far, naturally. Their ambitions have always been curbed by the Dorsays, along with Serene's strategic advantages over Peren. Hmm. Quite the history, then. And what about today? 
Well, they're more ambitious than ever. When the Malikor epidemic hit Serene as hard as it did, they saw it merely as a weakness to exploit. They attempted a series of maneuvers to oust your uncle from the council. But then the uncle. epidemic ended up hitting Peren too. However, I don't think they've given up. And if they've come all the way here, it's surely to gain influence and to undermine your family. Was there anything else you wish to ask? Yeah, our family, I don't know about how all that is. And the Orsays are pretty uh, manipulative themselves, it seems like. Aurelia, though, how about that? Do you know anything in particular about the prince's daughter, Aurelia de Vesp? She's a young woman, about your age. Ooh. Very beautiful, so they say. And she's dearly beloved by her father. Despite her age, she's already endured her fair share of tragedy. Her husband, whom I told she deeply loved, was brutally murdered not long ago. What's more, Aurelia's older brother Octave de Vespa is rumored to be the one behind it. And I don't just mean he gave the order. That said, don't be fooled into thinking she's but a tragic, defenseless young widow. Oh, she's very much her father's daughter. Ambitions and all. I have no doubt she'll be a formidable opponent for yourself and Constantine. Treat her as such. Was there anything else you wish to ask? Yeah, why did they give us the mission here at the minute that Constantine is sick and away, yet they keep referencing Constantine? Was I supposed to wait? We're doing this. Like, I don't know when's a good time. Uh, how about their reputation? Now, Mirage said that her husband that she might have had died in mysterious circumstances and she might have been involved with it or something. There's a bunch of rumor crap going around. We're going to wait and talk to her and find out. It's still good to get this background, though. Given this family's reputation, what's stopping us from arresting them on the spot? What, without evidence? That would do no good to your uncle's reputation and his position on the continent. I'm sure your cousin would delight in watching him squirm. But the Dorsey family could never recover from such a situation. If you arrest her without evidence, the council would be forced to intervene. And that is exactly what that old serpent, Alexandre de Vesp, wants. No, you must play along for now, but be extremely vigilant. Look out for poison in particular. The de Vesps have untraceable poisons down to a science. Their other weapon is compromising information, which they store in special chests without keyholes. Should slander not suffice, their assassins step in. It is said that Perenne's river is riddled with the bodies of their enemies. Take care, you don't end up joining them. Was there anything else you wish to ask? If they really are all this bad, let's just rendition them. Let's throw a hood over their heads, let's throw them somewhere, uh, kill them and throw them in the dirt and be like, we don't know what happened to them. Like, if they're this dangerous, oh, but everybody would know, we can't arrest them. Well, then don't arrest them. I don't know. It just, it's not like they don't lie or play evil anyway. I'm not advocating. I'm just saying, like, it seems like they're not uh, being consistent with who's doing what here. So, or how far they're willing to go. Do we have anything else? Uh, those notes, that's fine. Let's go. I must be on my way. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye. And tread carefully. That's what we hear. You guys are kind of punks. So I guess they had uh, Teleme roots, so it's good that we have Petrus with us. They said that they're up, we're going up into a region where uh, islanders are at or natives, so that's why I was thinking of Siora too for the contact. I don't know that it would be horrible to have, I mean, anybody with us. Shoot, Vasco might have, his family and the, we found out about the knots. Um back in the day maybe we could get information and interactions with him with like because I'm thinking that their family has old ties to this island because we found ruins of other ties so I think we're ready to get out of here though meet with Aurelia de Vesp so let's go fast travel and uh, see where they want us to go travel there we are a whole new region. Now, it also occurs to me, this game, I'm, I think we're getting pretty far into it. I wouldn't say we're at the end end. Um, it claims that the DLC comes in mid game or in the middle of the game, whatever. We're, we're pretty, we've found a lot of camps and a lot of areas and a lot of things. Um, 
we haven't really kind of been up here. And shout out to Shadowcat, I always forget. I'm supposed to look up at night and see this mountain. So let's see if I can remember to do that after we travel here. Oh, I was already in the travel. I'm like, stop looking at the map and travel. South Road? Sure. The Ancient Woods. I always do that. Hold the button for the map. Oh, we have to travel out through these. Oh, but we have not actually gone through all these ancient woods, have we? Well, we have a camp over here. We have Mev's abode, so we went through that. Let's let's go check out... Oh, that's a camp area. Of course. And I probably never got that skill altar. So, a little to our right. It looks like I got the skill altar, but why? I couldn't have gotten it without getting the camp, I don't think. Hold on, where are we at? Just straight up. And I'm not worried. Get out of here. Who cares, guys? Just run past him. Is this the camp? Can we not climb it? Can we go up and around? Level 3 Vigor. Are we level 1? That is so cool that we at least got to level 1, though. But how do we get up to this camp, then? Let's face it. Check our map one more time. To the left or to the right? To the left. I'd say straight up this way, right? No? Here we go. I think the, it's the proportions on the map throw me off sometimes, I think. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. Oh, make those horrible sounds. Is it just me, or are we really not here? Where's this camp? It's kind of a weird dead ending, impossible to climb. Is this going to be somewhere I should have waited to go to? Because every time you explore in this game, it seems to screw you up. Or is there a Nadaig? Oh, what the hell? Bear traps? Animal traps? Now, I can't actually undo those. I don't think. Hell yeah, guys. Speaking of which, let's check our skill points here. I've been working on the Shadow Burst, which I still haven't used. I um, haven't really used this either. Holy Bulwark. She also affects allies for half its effects. That's the one we're going to want to get here. Very good. Because then I'll figure it out. I'll put it on a hot spot. And then I'm helping all of us out. But how do we get up and around to the camp? We go down this way and to the left. Damn. Those were tough. This seems crazy to me. Down what way and to what left? <laughs> okay, so I'm right here on the map, the camp area. There's where we want to go. I'm going to try to come up around that way here. We'll see if there's a possibility of it. Anything wants to attack us, to hell with it. Let's just kill it. Did you see that? That's what I'm dealing with here. It's getting janky. Come on now. Like, this is supposed to be a little side stint because I see on the map we haven't really been over here. My intent was not to spend an hour of this game just trying to navigate. We find our camp. Is this the camp? Does it look like a camp? This isn't our camp. I'm thinking that the story is going to bring us here and I'm screwing up. I'll mention it later, but it is what is my only major pet peeve of this game is that exploring really messes you up. Like, it, there's no real reason for it. Um, I don't know what's up there either. Because every, every mission in the game brings you somewhere, and when you go there early, it doesn't really pay off, from what I've seen. 
That's four of five. Well, guess what? We're not going up to the top there. Because part of me thinks that we're going to get pulled this way for a story mission or something. Or there's a Nadaig up there that we want to hunt down if we want to kill them all. But truthfully, what kind of mission is that? I don't want to go around killing every Nadaig on the island. They're all like islanders, aren't they? They've given themselves over. Okay, we're making it. I suppose I should be picking up some of the supplies too, but... There we go. I got one. And this has got to be it. Let's get out of here. At least we can fast travel back to that camp now and check it out later. That was kind of my intent. Another little back step here. So weird, so weird. Let's go. And now where are we going? To Adag, Adag or Adag Old Krida, the Flaming Blood. And that does look, it's a coast. Gonna run into some old ruins here. Let's check our map and see what we see. Uh, what are they calling it? Caves? Caves? Camp area. That's where we want to meet the person. I think most likely we just kind of work our way... Maybe we'll check these caves and work our way up, but... You know how I feel about exploring now. Can't go this way, okay. They're gonna challenge us right away, give us something. Because this is a DLC, we could run into some tough fights. The music is very nice. Small woods, is there anything up that way? Just a dead end? Why even give us a dead end? Okay. Once again, exploring. We're adventuring, right? It's my favorite thing from Dragon Age. We're adventuring. Here we go. Kill it. It's coming right for us. So funny. Oh, these look like human hybrids almost. Got the one. By the way, I know it doesn't affect everybody that's outside the ring of it. I don't feel good killing things that look like puppy faces. They jump down on us because they don't like us being here. Well, we got our bile. That's all we're really here for. On this whole island. Find out the bile uh, cures the Malachor. And beast essence. Oh, antidotes for all the poisons we're going to get. Cool. Did we miss anything? Oh, there's up to our left. Not quite ready for that. Wait, what is... How do we make it down here? I guess we don't yet. I can't even get to the edge to be able to see, so... Game, game, game. I wonder who's playing Steel Rising, by the way. I have interest in that because I like Dark Souls games and I like the studio, but uh, we'll see. When or if I get to it for the channel. I guess they also, the Spiders, put out um, Technomancer, and I've owned that one forever. And uh, it was on you know sale for a couple bucks way back in the day. I still never played that, but it intrigued me. I just wasn't ready sometimes. Single-player big role-playing games, you got to be ready to sit down and just dig in. This channel's allowed me to kind of be like, okay... Let's dig in. You know, all the games that I haven't played that I've thought about playing that I just was like, oh, I don't know if I'm in the mood. Well, we we make time for the mood on this channel. Come on, guys. Let's get that one, this one, this one. There's another one. They're not that strong. I feel like we're slaughtering them. Um, we're like 
We're killing little animals that don't deserve it. I'll tell you. I had a horrible just the other day I took my dog out for a walk and I I heard a little squeak and a screech. And I was like, what? And it was a little baby bunny, like as big as my hand, just running off from the grass and uh into a little some other grass by a bike that's tied onto a pole. Um Anyways, I thought he was fine. You know, he's gone. We're, we're gone. Do Nobody saw him. He didn't see us. Dog didn't even react to him. Doesn't matter. Uh, but then I see him and he jumps in and is, he jumps into the street. And he's running across the street and then he's trying to jump up the curb and he can't get up the little curb. And it's just so sad. And I want, he was like halfway down the block and I have my dog with me. I can't do anything. And then I'm like, it's a rabbit. He'll figure it out or he won't figure it out. And then uh, I turn away and then I hear a sound and I turn back and there's a huge uh, crow that swept down and I'm not sure if he got him or not, but it looked like he would have. He went right to the spot and went flying up. The only thing I didn't see him in his mouth, but man broke my heart. So I, I just want to share that story because I'm sitting here looking at like little animals and it just, and you know, it happens. Um, it's nature, but I don't always have to witness it that we see everything going on outside, squirrels and chipmunks and crows and everything deer and bunnies it's a wildlife outside and i live in the city so oh and the turkeys who are you so they have a lot of armor which would mean something if our magic wasn't so powerful And they could poison me. I was just wondering if the others had been poisoned yet. Oh. All right. And this is, I still like exploring. I can't help it. I've also noticed the rivers in this game uh, leading towards the mountain and all that. By the way, we're, you can't even see the mountain half the time. That's why... I don't know where it is. It would be north. Up there. That's not the mountain, is it? I'll have to look at it at night. From a better uh, angle, I've been told. So. Alright, alright. So these are the small woods. There's question marks. Do they call it camp? They don't. Then let's head straight back down the water and go find out what's going on with this place. The Flaming Blood. This is going to send us all over. You know it, right? Who are those people? Oh, natives. That's what I noticed at the end. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Is this old chopping? How long has this community been here? Aurelia de Vesp's entourage's camp. So they've put this thing together since they got here. And it looks like we have a camp here, too. Thank you. Well, let's have a, a conversation, find out what's going on in this place. Why are you here? What time is it, too? Let's, let's do that. Dawn is good. Although, it's, it's a dark dawn, isn't it? Oh, where's the... I can't see the... Is that the mountain? Should be. West of us. We'll see it. Maybe it has a face on it from a certain direction or something. Or it lights up. We'll see. It seems a little small from this distance, but we'll maybe I'm not catching the, the full scale. I suppose we're going to pick them up. Uh, put an end to the thievery in the camp. Message to the camp guards. Thieves have managed to infiltrate our camp several times to steal our equipment. Be careful. One of them was wounded, but they could come back. To those of you who read this message, if you come across the band of robbers, please dispose of them. You may keep all they stole. Well, who cares about what? Okay. Um, of course we keep everything they stole. I'm offering a reward to anybody who finds my friend. He's one of Her Highness's servants, as am I. We were to meet near the ruins of the old port. Of the old port, but he never turned up. Yeah, the old port. Are, we're seeing ruins down below us. That's it. This is ancient time. What do you have for sale? Ooh. Well, that's crazy. Sailor's Axe. Um, wonder. It's kind of digging through. I'm not saying anything amazing. We can sell stuff to him. Um, you would think he'd have something just like something totally great. That's kind of looking around here for a minute. Oh, okay. So they're in an old village. They have backgammon. I didn't know if I realized that. Some cards. Very good. 
I have backgammon. I need to get back into that. I've been meaning to. I, ha I was on a chest kick for a bit, but you know, that's you can only do so much of that. <laughs> At least in my opinion. Alright, maps and books. Oh. My, my controller is shaking. Do they have... Is there something outside this tent that's messing with me? And it was like going boom, boom. I don't understand. Maybe it's literally up where we're supposed to go. We're going to hear about it. What do we got? Oh, okay. Is that them fighting? Yeah. Crazy. Well, let's find out. I thought about wearing the hood, but it clips. And the hat. We could purchase one of those, but we're fine. I like what we got. What's up, Indeed. Ginger? Delighted to meet you, Your Grace. The accounts I've been given of you and your companions don't do you justice. Truly, it is a pleasure. We're going to become wonderful friends, you and I, I'm sure of it. Say, aren't we going to be cousins soon? Pardon me, Your Grace, but I'm not sure I follow. And if I may ask, what is it precisely that brings you to this remote island? Haven't you heard? Well, <laughs> it seems the messengers on this island are not particularly reliable. No matter. Your uncle and my father have decided that your cousin, Prince oh. Constantine, and I are to be married. So, here I am. <sighs> my. This is... <sighs> incredible news. I know you must be surprised. However, this alliance will be a wonderful way to put an end to the enmity between us, don't you think? But I must inform you that... Good. Sadly, my cousin. Thank God. I was about to he's be so disappeared. Angry. We believe he may have been kidnapped. Oh? What horrible news? Uh, do you know who's responsible? I assume an investigation is underway. Of course. And I'm involved in the investigation. Every effort is being made to find the governor. <sighs> well, I'm Except most reassured that you're <laughs> in charge. I'm sure you'll find him quickly, and that will soon be wedded as planned. Then, you and I will be cousins, of course. Furthermore, I was hoping I might be able to count on your assistance. Of course, Your Grace. What can I do for you? You see, I didn't want to impose myself on New Serene until all the necessary arrangements had been made for my arrival. I had the Noughts drop us off in a quiet place outside the city. Too far outside the city, clearly. There were these savages and bandits skulking around the woods and threatening us. They even robbed me. Worst of all, they took the chest in which I was keeping the marriage contract. Savages? The only savages I know are the ones who invaded our home. Good for you, Siora. Oh, please forgive me, I meant no disrespect. Natives then, is it? In any case, it's absolutely mortifying to have to ask you this, but you know the island and its inhabitants better than I do. Could you perhaps retrieve the chest for me? I would be eternally grateful. Cousin. Yeah, not sure about all this uh, marriage. At least they mentioned that he's not around. I was about to be so upset that why give me the DLC in the moment and then be like, oh, I'm here to see your cousin. Well, cousin might be dead. We'll find out. So this works. I'm, I'm down with it. Um, let's just go through it. The theft of the chest. Now, the way they let up is we're being manipulated through this by a bunch of series. Like there may be no marriage. Maybe there's something in the chest that she... That we shouldn't be giving to her? I don't know. Let's just, let's see here. Can you tell me more about the theft? Of course. We were unloading our things from those horrid little boats that the Norts get about in when it was taken. I was busy setting up camp at the time, so I didn't see who it was. My men didn't see much either, because it was dark. But certain natives from the region stopped by in the morning. They were aggressive and insisted that we leave. <laughs> I'm sure they were behind the robbery, unless it was just bandits. There were a couple that my men chased away, but that's all I know. Thank you. We'll get about finding it. Is there anything else? I mean, we're going to go through it. What's up with this whole marriage thing and marriage contract? Why nobody mentioned it? 
That's a big deal, I would think. I won't deny that I'm surprised to hear about your engagement to We're my not cousin. cousins anyway. Despite the excellent reason you put forth. Surely you didn't think your cousin would stay single forever. Maybe. Know that although the decision was not my own, I'm very pleased about it. I got the impression your uncle thought a wedding might calm your cousin a little. And now that he's in the role of governor, he needs a wife of his standing. My father saw an opportunity to get me away from Peren, where I was in great danger, and found me a worthy husband in the process. But again, it's clear that their main intention was to put an end to years of conflict. Is there anything else? Didn't your old husband, uh, your last one, die? What's up with that? How about you? How about we just ask about you? Since we're going to be cousins, I'll have to get to know you better. Well, aren't you just lovely? I'm afraid there isn't much to tell. I was raised like any good princess, educated in both arts and arms. But, as I had several older brothers, I was never really given a political role. I'm still my father's favorite, though. You may know that I've already been married once, but my husband was murdered in cold blood as part of a plot at court. I'm very sorry for your loss. Please accept my deepest condolences. You're too kind. After he died, my father decided it was best to send me away from Peren. He knew your cousin was unmarried and was tired of the futile disputes between our families. So he contacted Prince Dorsey, and the rest is history. Is there anything else? I mean, it makes total sense. It sounds good. I must be going, Your Grace. But of course. Goodbye, dear cousin. I mean, a lot of ways I support it, long as our cousin's not, like, getting tied up and dead. It might be kind of cool. She might be awesome. And, like, a, yeah, it, they leave it at that, where she's, like, the, the wife. Um... But then she could be taking charge anyway. Like, by the way, just watched uh, Catherine the Great. I think I'm... Or The Great. It's called The Great. Pretty good show. Pretty reasonable. I think Elle Fanning. Um, yeah, binged through that, waiting for the new season eventually. I think there'll be one. But it has some, of, some themes in here. It made me think about this game a lot, too, with um, European aristocracy and all that stuff. I mean, that's it's Russian there, but it explains how much it's all, you know... Let's use the word literally incestuous, so. <laughs> she keeps calling me cousin. That doesn't mean we're not about to get, get hooked up. But we have Siora here, so hey, Siora. I don't know that there's any romances in this game, but um, we're loyal friends to Siora. We don't know. Maybe we're related. So there's the mountain, too. Is it getting darker? It's just the weather. So we have over here, track down the chest thieves. Let's go with that one. Straight up. Find our way this through. whole wedding business seems suspect. It's very likely that Prince Dorsey wants Constantine to marry, but choosing Aurelia de Vesp as his daughter-in-law is astonishing, to say the least. I can't believe it either. There is too much rancor between our families. Could the contract she spoke of be forged? Is it even possible? I'm not familiar with the practice. A document can be forged, especially by them. This much is clear. If we find it, it'll need close scrutiny. Hell yeah, it will. All right. We go down this way, is this it? Descend to the depths. Now, let me make sure. Where are we going? Oh, this is just the edge. What the hell would we be doing down here, then? This damn game sometimes. Work around the edge. There's our camp. At least we can kind of see. Yeah, I mean, here's the old docks. Not ships. Like, has nobody been here to realize this? This seems as big a deal. There seem to be stone structures as the uh, the ruins we found before. Let's see here. Let's take our time. It's almost dusk. Yeah, we're going to go to dawn again. All right. I mean, maybe it's not almost dusk. Who cares? I'm going to roll with it. This is our path down. Got it. Well, well, well. Let's find this contract. What is this way? Once again, just another way up and through and around. Okay. I have to go against my instincts in this game sometimes and just stay on the path. What 
do we have? What do we have? Sea people ruins. Sea people ruins. Get out of here. Get out of here. We're gonna switch up. We're gonna grab um Vasco with us and then we'll meet right back here. Alright, we're back here. I just figured, why not have a sea person with us? Vasco might have something to say about this. Oh, what did we find? If I've understood correctly, the chest was here when it was stolen. Ah, there are footprints which lead away from the camp. Alright. I mean, Siora's always my go-to. Did we just get them all? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, if we start seeing more Islander stuff, but this is more about... I don't know what this is about. If it starts involving the Islanders, I'll go back and get Siora. Oh. Some obsidian, huh? Now, I could do some crafting also at some point. Or go to the actual... Oh, there we go. Uh, go to the blacksmith and have him do it, rather. Letter from the servant to his beloved. Blanche, my sweet. I have gone to fetch some oars from the old shipwreck to take you out by boat. Wait for me here. I'll be back soon. Is that an ongoing story, or that was it? Okay. Where are they trying to tell us to go? Oh, away from the camp. Well, screw that, man. We're going to look around here for a minute. What is this? Or why would we... Why would we go down here? This doesn't make any sense to me. We don't want to go down here yet. This is a camp and caves. That's a whole other story. So they're having us run back up and around. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> don't go that way yet, guys. Unless I went straight to the camp. Just so we could fast travel. But then we'd want to explore later anyway. We just stick to the script. It'll take us there everywhere. There are other right? footprints here. They're quite deep. As if the person who made them were carrying a heavy load. We're on the right path. Is it X marks the spot? Or is that... Oh, that's just grass. <laughs> a star. I guess if you're not looking directly on top of it, you'll never know. That it has such an unnatural pattern. Alright, guys. I figure it's taking us. Where are we taking? Uh, I don't think we can actually get there from here. Let's find out where we can cross. We'll keep riding the edge, though. I know collectors are probably OCD going crazy that I won't pick up every single plant, but I just feel like it's, like, it's non-stop once I start doing it. If I see something interesting, I'll grab a few here and there. But we have tons of potions, I have spells for everything, I'm just not sure what I need. You know. If I were playing off-camera, I'd probably be doing a lot more of it. Okay. So that is our edge, thank you. How could I have known? They have different music in this place, don't they? Oh, you know what? Damn Islanders! Not the Knots. Okay, well, I'm gonna. I'm doing the same thing because I can cut it all up. I'm gonna go trade uh, Vasco for Siora again. Alright, I actually got rid of Petrus for a moment because Vasco might have more knowledge too. We'll see. What's up, guys? We're not fighting, right? Because that's like the opposite of what I want to do with you guys. I don't know why. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come pick up some of this Hawthorne. We can't talk? Just out here hanging out? Weird. Let's head up. What are we finding? Is it a bandit, ca bandit camp? Oh! See, these things, they look so cool, but I feel so bad killing them. They look too human -like. The undergrowth has been crushed. Several people pass through here. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to go get the skill altar. 
Look at that waterfall, though. That's cool. And once again, west. There's our mountain. Right? Is that sun hitting it? I'm going to try to remember to keep an eye on it. So, I can't figure out which way to go. Not that way. So impossible sometimes. Okay. Look at the map and you have to memorize it and then go, okay, so all the brick and everything to my right, just ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. Run through here. Do I have to fight anything on our way through? You would think we would. Give us a challenge. By the way, these hanging things, don't they look like the uh, winds of hell? Um, let's... Oh, I messed up. Hold on. I don't think I did. I thought I was unbinding... I do that sometimes, I hit the wrong buttons. How many we got, guys? And then I have left. Let's see if you can ward off this fight. And then, um... I'm just using my other spells. Spells I just found. So we have a shield, and then we have our other one. Let's pick up our beast essence. Poor guys, little fellas. They're like little lions. Okay, well, for whatever reason, we're here desecrating this place. Let's go get our shrine. Maybe it's already been desecrated. We're just taking advantage. Well, now I'm at least using all this stuff. So, our next one we're going to use is Blessing of the Enlightened. Shield of the Enlightened also affects allies for half of its effects. Are you kidding me? Of course. Unlock all magical skills. Was that it? Oh, we did, didn't we? I didn't even realize that. Well, there we go. That's kind of cool. Nice view. Oh, well. Um, let's push forward. It's been a fun little DLC side trip so far. I'm glad that they incorporated the fact that uh, Constantin is missing. So it doesn't feel like we shouldn't be doing this at this moment. The brightest minds and people are working on the problem right now. Not us, though. We're here. I don't think there's anything else over there. And can we go down this way? Yep. Poor guys, though. I'm going to use one of my new powers when I can. Um, shield? Wait, no. Oh, I didn't use it right. Too far away for the... Oh, you can try. Here, let's, um, we're gonna give a little healing. Just gonna watch our boys go to work and our gal. This faint. Oh, oh, we ended him. That's what you, that's what you get for being animals out here around us. By the way, I, I'll just say I, I'm not a uh, a vegan. I do like to, I I could try someday, you know. And ethically, I get it. Um, but I'm just I'm just aware of it. Like, there's still no reason to just slaughter animals for no, any reason, for no reason. How about that? Now, what was the point here? We found the body. Was that a, like I was wondering if it was a side mission? Somebody got pulled off. We did something. No check our map. So we're heading up. This is a camp to our left. If we can get over and get it, might as well, right? Cool. Are we heading to this waterfall? The lighting is awesome. I think that's where we want to go. Well, I enjoy the environment they brought us to. Although, you know, still, it's not like they reinvented the wheel here, guys. Sometimes there's nadags by these camps, right? 
up around to our left. And why wouldn't they have one to challenge us here? I'm not sure that I'm ready to kill it either. Why would I want to kill it? it? Just seems... I mean, from a gaming perspective, sure, oh, we gotta get them all, but... I don't know that that's always true. That can't get us up where we want to go. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, well, let's pop our camp. Uh, what time of day is it? It's getting towards dusk. I still want to go with uh, dawn. We'll just keep hitting daytime. And let's head back down and around. Or back here at the waterfall. See if the light will hit it. I think we're still... It's that dawn stuff, man. Natural bridge. Love it. The footprints seem less hurried. The thieves must have felt safer here. We must be getting close. We must be getting close. If we're close to something. Look at the light. Is that light or is that... I don't know. The island here makes me think of the island in Lost a little bit, like we're working up the water towards our source. And uh, no spoilers, just let me roll with it with my own thoughts for a moment. Okay, and yeah, we're at a major thing here. Let's see. Of course, we have to go behind the waterfall, right? How am I not going behind the waterfall? Or at least trying. Hey, it, let's get some of that ore. Crude iron ore is my favorite. I'm just looking around. This is awesome looking. Oh, you know what this place... What is this place called again? Hold on. The Flaming Blood. So is that the Flaming Blood of the Mountain? I don't know. Oh. Well, these guys don't look like they're in uh, very good shape. Oh. oh, come on. You're so kidding. Let's, uh... I don't lock on all the time on this one. Here, I'll do it for fun. There's a burst. Wildcat hunter, huh? Kill 20 ex-regats. We don't see many around here. But I'm convinced they don't eat their prey where they catch it. They would normally take it back to their lair. Maybe they were about to do just that when we got here. Let's look around. We'll soon find out. And let's not forget Aurelia's chest. Yeah, let's not forget the reason we're here. Thanks, buddy. That's leadership. Thanks for reminding us. This is great. That place is crazy. The poor souls didn't enjoy their loot very long. It looks as though they were attacked as soon as they settled down here. Let's go get a look over here. Is that even somewhere we're going, or we're just looking at it for now? Let's see here. Uh, No, I don't think we are. I think it's just a vision, and maybe it's foreshadowing where we're heading in the game. Like, oh, intuition level two. I think we have that. This campfire is strange. The ashes and embers are laid out as they should be, but the ground beneath them is untouched. This campfire has not been used. It seems as though it was just laid out as a prop. Mm. I'm troubled by this fake campfire. It casts a strange light upon this whole affair. And considering all we know about her family, I can't help thinking Aurelia de Vesp is responsible. The question is why? I suppose we'll only find out once we talk to her again. We best go back to the camp and return the chest. Did we actually find the chest? What do we... Recover the stolen chest and then it come curves around? Well, let's continue searching here. Dudes. Uh, antidote, sure, for poison. Like, I was just waiting at that moment uh, like, for us to get killed. So they came here and they killed these people. They want us to discover the chest in a way that, like, maybe to give it, um, 
I can't, not agency, uh, provenance, right? And we're saying, ah, we're the legate of the congregation, and here's your chest guaranteeing the marriage of... And it's like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. That is where the chest is, but I want to go to the right just a hair. What is over this way? And, oh, we can't go cross, can we? Oh, we can. Because I got my vigor. We don't have strength, but we have vigor. Something coming to attack us in the middle, or no? Teresia. Now, can we pick the lock, right? Nope. Large Adaig Olkridaw Axe. Two-handed heavy weapon strength five. Requiring it. Maybe that could go with um, Kurt, is, I think is the only guy we've even using two-handed weapons with. All right, well, I'm going to call it. I'm going to say this is good here. We got it. Treasure. That's what I'm saying. I have a few of those um, either legendary or gold weapons or whatnot. And I just don't know if some of them are waiting to get their skill up. It's like high, high level. Um, so I, next time maybe I'm at home, I'll run through our box, pick them up, and see if anybody can actually use any of that stuff. But before that, let's get this chest. There it is. And go talk to this lady. The Devesp coat of arms. This must be the chest Aurelia asked us to find. Is there any way to open it? We could examine this contract of hers. I can't see a lock. And we'd be hard pressed to explain why we broke it. We'd better bring it back untouched. Wait. Look, there seem to be soldiers over there. We should observe them before jumping into their arms. Okay, so how do we observe? Let's check our map here. They're over to our left. Oh, yeah, we can just uh, do it from here. Got it. It seems they're Aurelia de Vesp swordsmen. I'm afraid it is now beyond doubt. These men were sent to ambush us. Aurelia sent us to recover that chest solely in order to get rid of us. <sighs> we should teach those assassins and their mistress a lesson. But since we spotted them, if you'd rather avoid trouble... Observe... I... Spadassins? Well, I don't know where the hell they are, by the way. What did that show us? Are they over there? I don't care. Let's go. Like... I say this is, uh... We're just gonna run back. As quick as you can. If they're in our face, I'm gonna kill them. What sp spadassins? Doesn't make any sense to me. Fine. Okay, well, I'm going to run us on back, and if we get attacked or we have conversations or anything interesting, we'll take it from there. Actually, is there a camp even closer? Oh, the camp down here. Well, is that where the spadassins are that I was supposed to see? Did they not render in, or I wasn't looking properly? over in the space where we already went. Oh, so another reason I should not have gone and looked at that camp. Because we were going to have to go through this anyway. Right, let's... Uh, I'm just going to come over here real quick. And we're going to... <laughs> just damage all of them with my stuff. Oh, you want some? She hoped these killers would be the end of us. She deserves Enon Mil Frichtemann's wrath. May he engulf her in lava. What do you intend to do? She'll have to answer for this. But, given the power of her family, we must remain polite. Okay, so we have to remain polite. We can't do anything nefarious, even though she's sending assassins to kill us, trying to take out the family, having for forged documents. Like, insanity, you guys. I don't know that you are doing this correctly. Like, all you have to do <laughs> is put a bag over her head with nobody seeing, get rid of her, toss her in a ditch, and when they come asking, you just say, I have no idea what you're talking about. Plausible deniability and good luck. Because that's what they're doing, right? Oh, it couldn't be. Our assassins. See, that's kind of the reason I thought about we had to go take out those assassins anyway. All right, we can go to the camp. Was I wanted proof that they'd actually tried to kill us. So, oh, we saw your assassins trying to 
getting ready to ambush us, and she could say, Well, they didn't, did they? Did they ambush you? Well, let's go have a convo with her and see what's what. And we're back to our camp. You got some splaining to do, Lucy. Actually, just watched part of that, too. The, uh... I forget the actress's name, but... Who played Lucy. Tom Cruise's ex-wife. Here, uh, speak to Aurelia. What's up, Aurelia? You? I didn't think I'd see you again. So soon. So soon. Is that because you'd hoped we'd be clawed to death by those beasts? Or because you thought your assassins would get the better of us? Come now, who do you take me for? I was just putting your courage to the test, that's all. A princess's whim. Nope. <laughs> I kindly suggest you forget all about this little incident. You see, my dear, we de Vesps have a habit of knowing as much about our enemies as our friends. I'm afraid my father's men have obtained some rather sensitive information, which, well, if the other governors were to find out, it could very well jeopardize your position, along with that of the Dorsay. If word were to get out about your origin, for example... Are you trying to blackmail me? Oh, what a horrid word! <laughs> Come now, I would never do such a thing. Let's just say that I'm ensuring your loyalty. In fact, some of my men are already at the courts of Hikmet and San Mateus, and ready to act if you try anything. But I'm sure it won't come to that. We'll soon be part of the same family, after all. Who cares? Who cares? I don't care. Uh, ask her about our marriage, her, the reasons for blackmail, her intentions. How about the reasons? Why do you feel the need to resort to blackmail? You have your contract. Why threaten me? My sweet summer child. Sweet summer you child. You seem to have learnt to navigate the seas of politics in a duck pond. My waters, however, were shark infested. Knowing the weaknesses of others, as well as how and when to exploit them to ensure unwavering loyalty, is key to survival as a divesp. I believe I mentioned that my late husband was murdered at court. Well, his killers worked for my brother. My own brother didn't think twice before having the man I loved killed to secure his position. He broke my heart. I understand, of course. I'd probably do the same. And what of it? Do you think I would feel more remorse where it's, say, a cousin-in-law? Or, a co or your husband? Else? Why wouldn't you just kill your husband and keep the power? Like, why would we trust her about any of this stuff? What, what do you want? What are your intentions? Surely you're not going to all this trouble just to marry my cousin. And why not? Your cousin's quite the catch, you know. But you're quite right. I want more than just a new husband. I want a place where I can showcase my talents. A place to shine. Who knows? As the governor's wife, I could even become the new legate and try my hand at diplomacy. Unless I decide to keep you, of course. That is, if you promise to serve me well and aid me in expanding our influence on this island and beyond. The Divesps have long worked in the shadows of the congregation. No more. I hope that answers your question. Is there anything else? I guess we just give her the chest because we have no choice. Why don't we just walk off with the chest? Not many options in this yet. Let's see here. Here is your chest. This is the one you sent me to fetch. Yes, that's the one. Thank you for your help. You have shown yourself to be as reliable as they say. Long may it continue to be the case. Well, now that I've recovered my precious documents, you will be able to deliver the wedding contract to your cousin in New Serene. I await the preparations for my arrival and accommodation. Then there'll be plenty of time to prepare the ceremony with my husband-to-be. The arrival of a noble lady such as yourself will require several arrangements. New Serene is a very new city. Yes, I'm sure. Don't dither for too long now. I'm counting on you to be as quick as possible. And to convince your cousin and his men to be reasonable. You know what's at stake. Is there anything else? Is there? Um, no, I think we're good. I must be going, Your Grace. But of course. Goodbye, dear cousin. So the only thing that she really has over us on anything that could just ruin everything is that our lineage isn't what 
they think it is and we're not really the person even though we have this damn thing all over our face we're running around helping all the I island natives we have our best friend here here's siora like who isn't talking already about this stuff that's crazy but we have to leave camp we have to figure this out i want to burn this person to the ground and just get done with this i don't know how she's going to marry constantin while he's still missing but we're going to find out and we're going to do it all in the next episode <laughs>